<laughs> Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you to another Let's Play. This time, I am going to play Bastion. Now, I have constantly sung the praises of Supergiant games, and they. Well, yeah. Because they are just fantastic. I'm pretty sure that. Yeah, Bastion, Pyre, Transistor, all of them. I love them. I am willing to bet that Hades is also just wonderful. I don't know yet. I'm waiting for that to come to consoles. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the Bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the subtitles, just in case I end up talking over something. So on and so forth. First of all, this game has a very, like, striking visual style. The ground forms up under his feet as it point the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Just the color that really pops. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. Yeah. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. You know, playing this game in a post Breath of the Wild world is... Um... <laughs> hearing the word calamity is going to be hard to not associate with that. But yeah, I really like the way the environments work in this game. The way the ground will just kind of pop up wherever it feels like. That a survivor. It manages to like, create a vibe a gas with the things that are on the ground, the ground, but it still looks really abstract because it's just floating. Good. Fella got a piece of him though. It's a nice style. I like it. Peter falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Oh, yeah. I think it was reloaded. Yeah, okay. So ammo's not a problem. You just gotta wait for the thing to reload. And then I'm not wasting any more, like, partial shots there. And then oh. he falls to his death. I'm just fooling. <laughs> the narration is nice too. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Nice. Sometimes you just need a drink. You got three of those up there. Yeah, the narration's nice, first of all. Logan coming in. The score voice squirts actor. tunnels up around him. It has a prominent role in mind. each of Supergiant's games as far as voiceover goes and he does an excellent job at each of them. A pyre especially, I didn't even know it was him until I actually like saw his name in the credits. I mean you could have probably assumed because he's just in all of their stuff as the prominent voice, but you know. I don't think you would know without knowing any better. Is what I'm trying to say. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. So yeah, Bastion, I like this game quite a bit. I like Pyre and especially Transistor a little shield. more, but I still think this is really good. L2 but just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Yes. Oh yeah, it stuns him a little bit. 
Uh, there's no timing involved there. You just gotta let them hit. Windbags start turning up for last call. I was gonna see if I could be like facing away. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Oh yeah, and you can't tell their health bar is like in a little semicircle or in a little circle right in the middle of them. If I hit something, kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Yeah, better fulfill my last request there. So yeah, I like the overall kind of vibe that this game gives off quite a bit. There's like almost a little bit of a western he gets a good look at things to it. on his way down. Like just kind of the way that the kid is dressed. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. I love how often they're just peppering you with different things to use too. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. I prefer the bow to the spear. Knows he should draw the string all the way back. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. All you gotta do is hold square for a little bit if you want to fire at a little bit of a higher rate. Once you flash, that's it though. I don't know if there's like a timing bonus if you like let go right as you flash, it'll do better. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Uh, Once the fastest extreme. man in the land. Those are little upgrade materials. Good news is the emergency defenses ah, still work. Bad news is the aiming for the kid. Right back oh, yeah. at you. You can block those. Alright. So pulling up the shield. There we go. That's better. I was gonna say. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I only ever played this game twice, <laughs> as opposed to Transistor I've played like half a dozen times at this point. Mix up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. He's a mighty ah. fast learner. But it won't be that much of a... It won't be that much trouble. This game is relatively manageable. I won't say it's super duper easy, but it's not as good. You know. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. So yeah, we only have we only have these three options right now. So did I? Okay. World dancing shot. Secret breaker technique. One black tonic per use. I'll keep the whirlwind on for now. I prefer that. Oops. Yeah, the R2 moves use up the little black tonics over there. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go with the uh plus ten to health, please. Alright, actually I need to go modify something real quick. I want to switch where my uh, bow and hammer are placed. I'd prefer to have the melee button attached to square. 
I don't have like a specific reason for that. It just feels better in this particular Some of those case. squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. See, they're pretty generous with the amount of uh, black tonics they drop, so you don't need to really be shy about using that. Ah. You know, the one thing that is a bit um, of a pain, you know, the environment kind of adjusts to where you're moving, but... That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. Yeah, the environment kind of adjusts as you move, but, you know... I could imagine some people kind of thinking, oh, hey, it'll... This is where we gotta go, I just gotta wait for the ferry bar ground to the kid pop on his way. and then keep walking, and then just walk off the The Bastion's edge. real close now. That'll be smell helpful. of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Oh, scumbags. The kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Yeah, these guys like to spit with a bad patch here. It's not the most uh, enjoyable thing. I'm gonna use my spin to finish him off. Spin the wind. Drops a scumbag of his last game. Oh, watch out for this guy. He breaks the ground. Kid puts him out of his misery. Oh, he's got to take out the, uh... Nice. Pick up the little blue fragments. Maybe I should have got the fragment sucker. <laughs> or whatever it's supposed to be called. I don't really know. Is that thing... I thought that was just following me for some reason. I didn't realize it was trying to attack. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Oh. So we're playing Persona now. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. <laughs> Doing the character feels this way because the narrator says so. Shtick of a couple years before Stanley Parable made a whole thing out of it, huh? See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. It just keeps running. Right, oh, Ow! Nice of them to give you health drops when you uh, move on. At last, the skyway is in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. Awesome. That little icon there, the blue things. Now the kid the sees something over. stranger still. His mind races. All right. Did anybody else survive? Let's see this Bashkin here. Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. 
All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. Ain't always much to say. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. All right, so if we come over here, Kid ponders what to build. No, uh, we'll do the arsenal first, I suppose. The bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Secret technique that counter blocks all incoming attacks. Want top break use. All right. We'll keep the, uh... Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. Yeah, we'll keep the set that we have. You get more slots to put things in here, clearly. Which is nice. Alright, that looks like all we can do for now. Let's move on kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. Alright, so that's the area we were just in. Uh, proving ground for the weapon. Uh, since I have the bow, I might as well try and give that a whirl. I'll try it once or twice, and then if I don't win, then... You know. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. 